morning. About to hop in the cold plunge. Never gets easier. It's one of those things that just puts me in the mindset of just, I'm a savage, because nobody else does this shit. I mean, nobody else is willingly putting themselves through pure hell of sitting in mid-30 degree water. Like... This just, these actions just confirm the thoughts I have about myself in my own mind. Two minutes, 15 seconds, working my way up to three minutes. We're getting there, savage mode. Time for breakfast. Grab some eggs. Time to rock. 60 pounds on the back, on the pack. This is just as much mental as it is physical. Will this help me when I'm grinding it out, hacking it out in the middle of nowhere on a hunt? Hell yeah. But this is also teaching me the power of mental discipline, grit, toughness, execution when things aren't perfect. And it builds my self-confidence day in and day out, keeping the promises I make to myself. Also makes me feel like a fucking savage out here in the snow, in the rain, in the cold, whatever it is. I know nobody else is grinding like me feeling good about yourself is earned and you earn that every single day the feeling of happiness enlightenment contentment why would you deserve to feel like that by watching TV all day eating shit food all day sending negative energy to other people the people in your life that you supposedly love why would you get that feeling positive back you need to remove those negative vices, the negative emotions, and put out what you desire to get in return. Working on myself, eliminating negative thoughts and actions by doing this type of thing. Getting my energy high, raising my state through positive action and thought. Then I can show up for the people I love in a far superior way than if I wasn't taking care of myself. I don't have enough time to prepare myself to become the man the world needs, my future family needs, I need, or I needed. That's my mission, is to create the man that I always needed. The hard motherfucker. Kick you in the teeth, get you up off your ass, stop doing the dumb shit. 
Start grinding. Start being a role model. Drinking beer every weekend ain't a stud. That ain't stud shit, man. That's easy. It's easy to be a lazy piece of shit. Go out, get sloppy. It's hard to do self-work. It's hard to invest in yourself without seeing the results for months. It's hard to shove off those vices, shove off those desires, and commit yourself to a higher calling. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for the people that believe in you. Do it for the people who need the inspiration, who need to see you execute to change their life. If you don't love yourself enough, at least love them like you say you do. What the fuck is everybody so detached for? Why? Why is it cool to not care? To not show what you really love, who you are? Why is everyone hiding? Be you, dude. Everybody else is taken. Like, come on, man. What are you so scared about? Nobody really cares. And by you actually being who you are as a person, you're going to attract all the people who are supposed to be a part of your life. You're worried about chasing off all these friends who aren't really your fucking friends, dude. Why are you allowing all their people to dictate what your worth is and who you are and how valuable you are? It's all cultivated within. Through shit like this. The permission is nobody else's to give but your own. Fix yourself, then teach others to do the same. When you start working on yourself, you become somebody you're proud of. The judgment of others falls away. You don't care anymore because you're proud of who you're giving to the world. And there's nothing more rewarding than that. Rock done. Three miles, 60 pounds. Let's go. All right. Let's go. About to head to the gym. I'm pumped, dude. Got leg day. Just jacked up. About to go crush it. I got two big scoops of hydraulic in the old shaker bottle. Drew got me a new shaker bottle. She's such a sweetheart. But, uh, go fucking get after it. Alright, here we are. Gonna go fucking smash legs. We're gonna get that arm pump. Get that arm pump after the fact. You know, it's always arms day.